Hi kids! Our lesson for today is about how matter changes when applied with heat. But before we start, let us know first the meaning of the following words for you to understand well our lesson. First is the matter. It is any substance that has mass and takes up space by having volume. Physical change A change from one state, solid, liquid, or gas to another without a change in chemical composition. Chemical change It occurs when one substance is transformed into one or more new products via a chemical reaction. Heat it is energy that is transferred from one body to another as the result of a difference in temperature. You may have observed that some materials around you undergo changes. You may also notice that while there are materials that change, there are also those that seem to stay the same. While you cannot see the changes in these materials, it does not mean that they do not undergo changes. Everything around us undergoes changes at certain conditions, even those that seemingly do not change. Now, what is matter? Matter refers to all objects and materials around us. In studying its different kinds, we usually observe and compare it to one material to another. For example, when we describe the difference between a paper and a rock, we usually look for characteristics that are not similar in the two objects being described. This characteristics that makes matter distinct from one another is called properties. The properties of matter can be classified as physical properties or chemical properties. Now, what is heat? Heat as discussed in your previous grade, it is a form of energy. It is described as how high the temperature is. We use a thermometer to measure the heat. And the sun is our larger source of heat. Heat can bring about a physical change in matter. Some solid materials melt when the heat is applied to them. A common example is a piece of melting ice. The ice absorbs heat from the surroundings, which will then melt after a few minutes. On the other hand, if water evaporates, it is subjected to heat. Just like your mother hangs her wet laundry under the sun, after several minutes or hours, the clothes become dry, which means that the water in your clothes evaporated. Heat does not only produce a physical change in materials. Sometimes, heating a material causes it to undergo chemical changes. The chemical changes caused by heat are irreversible. Example of this is cooked food. When your mother cooked egg for your breakfast has undergone a chemical change. Now, can you bring the egg back into its liquid form before it was cooked? Applying heat to the matter results in processes of physical and chemical changes. 
physical change only happens when the appearance of the matter changes and no new material is formed. These are the examples of physical change. Cutting paper, mashing potatoes, breaking glass, and boiling water. Chemical change happens when the heat is applied and the matter changes its size, shape, color, and smell, and new material is formed. These are the examples of chemical change. Burning Cooking food And baking bread Now, let's have an activity. Let's see if you really understand our lesson. Directions Read the following sentences carefully. Write true if the situation shows how matter changes when applied with heat. And write false if it is not. Number 1. Charcoal burning on the grill is an example of chemical change. 2. When heat is applied to matter or material, nothing happens. 3. A vanilla ice cream melts when taken out from a refrigerator for a long time. 4. Physical and chemical changes are results when heat is applied to matter. 5. Melting ice cube, boiling water, and drying cloths are examples of physical changes. I hope you really understand our lesson. By the way, I'm Teacher Pat. Thank you for listening.